how to create a personal Wix website. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own personal Wix website. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to have to do is register on Wix. So you can just register via your email address or your Gmail account. And once you have registered, this is going to be your dashboard. So over here, you're just going to click on create new site. And once you click on create new site, it will open up in a new tab for you to begin developing your website. So it's a very simple and easy process. Now you're just gonna click on Wix over here and it might not ask you this question, but I do have the editor X installed. That is why it is going to ask me this question. Now you're going to add what kind of website you want. You can skip these questions if you want, but we're looking to create a personal website, a portfolio kind of website. So I'm just gonna click on general portfolio over here. And it's best if you answer these questions because this will enable you to add certain features and recommend templates to you that will be very accurate. I don't want a chat box, so I'm just going to skip this and we're going to continue on over here. And then I'm just going to continue like so. Now, once you continue on from there, they're going to ask you if you want to use the Wix ADI or if you want to choose a template. Now, for most people, I would recommend going with a template because I really don't end up liking what the ADI creates, but the ADI basically is the Wix artificial intelligence, which will ask you a couple of questions. And once you answer those questions, your website will be created for you and then you can edit it as you want but choosing a template allows you a lot more authority over the kind of generalist that you initially will establish so i prefer going with the template route but if you want to save time and this is just like something that you want to do on the side if you just want to try it out then you can definitely check out the wix adi but we're just going to click on choose a template over here and now over here you can see this is the template gallery of wix so there are so many different portfolio templates that you can choose from and if you don't want to choose a template like this you can also click on blank templates over here and you can start from scratch or take one of these simple layouts for you to enter your information in but we're going to go back into the all template section and we're going to search for portfolio and take a look at the different portfolios that are available so we're just going to search for portfolio and within this category there are different kinds of portfolios so you can go with cvs and resumes personal portfolios so we're going to click on personal over here and now you can see the different types of uh, templates that are available so there are several different pages there are even other templates that you can customize to create a portfolio look but if you want to save time then you definitely can choose one of these CV templates or these portfolio templates to make sure that you have your portfolio ready instantaneously. So you can see over here that I'm going to go with this one because it's like simple, neat, and it has all of the information conveyed in the orderly fashion. So I'm just going to click on edit over here to build my portfolio or my business portfolio kind of website. So you can see we're just going to click on edit and this will load the template for us. It might take a couple of seconds for the template to load. So we're just gonna wait for our template to begin loading. Now you can see our template has been loaded. Now on your left, you have all of your editing tools, your navigation panel basically, where you will find your ad, your pages, your site design, your applications that you want to add. You have your media, blogging, you have content managers and the ASIN business tools. So to get started with editing your website, you can just click on the text over here and I'm gonna change the name to my own. I'm going to add this as Jane Doe, and then I'm going to add a different project title. So this could be stylist, and I'm just going to edit this. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to first off move this dash. I'm going to just open this up, move it over here, move this over here like this. And I'm going to make this column size a bit shorter. So I'm just going to drag this over here. I want this to be a bit on the top, and I'm going to select the header. I'm just going to take a look at the header over here and I'm just going to make this slightly more skinnier. I'm going to drag this a bit down like this. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the pages. So on your top left, you can click on over here to see the pages that you have. And I'm going to click on manage pages and I'm just going to delete all of the extra pages other than the basic one. So I'm just going to keep the contact page and the about me page just like that. And this is the about me page, which is also the home page of the website. Then below that you edit the image, you can just click on this image and then you can just click on delete and then the image will be deleted. Or there is another way that you can do this is that instead of deleting like the entire image, you can just click on change image and upload your own image because this is like an image container that we have over here. So I'm just gonna go and change this image. So I'm just gonna click on media from Wix and 
add a stock image from there. You can obviously upload your own images for your portfolio or your personal website. So I'm just going to add this over here instead of that. And then below that, I'm going to change the bottom text. So I'm going to add Jane Doe. And then I'm going to change this as well. So I'm going to change this to stylist. And then you can see you have your social bar. So you have this social bar. So you're just going to click on set social links. And then you can link all of your social media platforms. Like this template has these three basic ones. So you can remove any icon that you don't need. And you can click on add icons. And take a look at the different social media platforms that are available. You can link all of these. So maybe if you have a YouTube channel as well, you can add that social media icon as well. And now you can just replace this like so. And now you can see you have this link over here. So you can just click on this and paste your link address. So let's say I want to link my Facebook account. So I'm just going to open up my Facebook account. And I'm just going to go on over there. And I'm going to copy this over here. And I'm just going to copy and then paste like this. And I'm going to click on done, done. So whenever someone clicks on this like Facebook icon, they will be led to my Facebook profile. And once you do that, you can see you have your basic text. So you can start editing that. And I'm just going to remove these buttons over here because I really don't need them. And I'm going to drag this text over here. And then you can add your own text. So if this is a stylist portfolio, I'm going to add I have work for New York Fashion Week. ETC, ETC, whatever you want. So you're going to add your own descriptive kind of paragraph about yourself. Now below that, let's say if this is like the basic look, what you want to add something else, maybe you want to add a image carousel. So for that, what you're just going to do is you're going to go on to your left, you're going to click on add, and then you're going to click on image. And then you can upload your images and start embedding those. But before you do that, you can also go into the uh, decorative and interactive section for you to add more interesting boxes. So you can see there are different container boxes, hover boxes that you can add. You can even search for a specific kind of item that you're looking for if you cannot find it initially. You can also input or embed different codes or widgets as well. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go on to our gallery. And in your gallery, you're going to find different kinds of image carousels or galleries, you could say, different ways to add images, basically. And then you can just add your work over here. So I'm going to go with this grid gallery over here. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to place it over here like so right at the center. You can see when this purple line is appearing that this is the center. And now I can just start adding my images. So I'm going to click on change image and then I can add my images. So first off, I'm going to remove all of the old ones and I'm going to click on add images, go to Wix and I'm going to search for model and I'm just going to add a bunch of these images instead, add to gallery. I'm going to click on done and now you can see my like interesting grid has been formed and then you can also add some descriptions about your images. You can also click on the settings bar over here to add what kind of reaction you want from your image grid. So when someone clicks on the images, the images should pop up or a link should open or nothing happens. So maybe I want the images to pop up and that is all. I don't want to link each image individually, but if you want, you can do that as well. And I'm just going to leave it at that once you have finished designing your website like so. So this is like the about me page you can also go onto your contact page over here and start editing that but you know uh, you can add more pages if you want but i find for a personal website this is enough i'm just going to click on publish over here and then i'm going to enter the website domain name that i want so uh, let's say the website domain name that i want is jane style portfolio and this is available so i'm just going to click on save and continue and once you have saved and continue, we're just going to click on publish now. Our site is being published. And just like that, our website is live. So you can go back into your My Site section on your Wix account. And you can see our website is now live. So I can click on the link over here. And this is what our live website is looking like. You can see if the image is clicked, I have a image pop up. So whenever the image is clicked, I have a larger version of that image. And if I click on Facebook over here, it's going to lead me to my Facebook account. If I click on Twitter, the Twitter account that was linked was the Wix account. So it's going to open up the Twitter Wix account and you can hyperlink anything in that fashion as well. And once you have done the website building part to manage your website, all you have to do is click on uh, select site over here. 
and this will lead you to the actual dashboard of your website. So that was the website editor. And once you have finished the editing phase of your website, once you have like a live website, this is going to be your dashboard. And on your dashboard, you can see over here on your left, you have your navigation panel, you have your homepage, subscriptions, you have contact, which basically means people that have signed up on your website for your email address. So when they have input their email address, they will be in your contact list. Then you also have your communication. So you have your inboxes, chats, forms, and submissions, and you also have marketing and SEO tools as well as analytics and reports and your different finances. And you can also click on apps over here to integrate different apps onto your personal Wix website on Wix. So you can go anywhere from uh, linking your dropshipping website or anything like that. If you have a e-commerce store, if you have like a business platform, if you have a blog or anything like that, you can also link it onto your Wix personal website as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own personal Wix website as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions regarding the entire platform of Wix, leave them in the comment box down below and I will love to help you guys out. And I will catch you guys in the next video.